If you need a sign to invest or buy in Miami, I've got five signs for you. Don't go anywhere. Hey, I'm Seth Neocon, founder of Black Book Properties and condoblackbook.com. I founded Black Book Properties almost 20 years ago to help people like you understand the Miami real estate market so you can buy, sell, and invest like an insider. For decades, Miami has been a favorite destination for all kinds of people and for all kinds of reasons. Of course, it's beautiful weather, gorgeous waterfronts, beaches, low taxes, and landlord-friendly laws are the obvious draw. But now this city is truly an international destination to live, work, vacation, and invest. So beyond the obvious, why is that? Today, I'm gonna to talk about the top reasons to invest in Miami right now. But first, if you aren't already a Black Book Insider, hit that button below and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the kind of intelligent and sometimes entertaining content we create every week just for you. As a Miami resident for decades now and an owner of a top producing boutique brokerage here, I've seen a lot of market cycles. And I can tell you that when it comes to investing, one of the most important tenants is know your market or know someone who does. You've got to look at historical and current trends plus market valuations and the vibe on the street, what we call market sentiment for the city and even the neighborhood you're considering. So here are five reasons why I believe Miami is showing up on so many investors' radars right now. In fact, did you know that even alligators are buying up properties in Miami right now? It's true, they're called investigators. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, Miami is a top international city of choice. What do I mean by this? Miami is now being taken seriously around the world, not just as a place to play. People from all over the world are taking a hard look at the magic city and giving it a chance for business and full-time residency. But here's some hard stats as well proving this point. It's the number one US city for expats. It's ranked number one on The Economist's latest report of the world's top 10 thriving cities. It was listed as the second prime luxury real estate market in the world for price growth by a 2022 Knight Frank report. And as we reported last year, Florida in general was the number one U.S. destination for international buyers, with that number steadily increasing. Bottom line is Miami is topping all kinds of lists, and wealthy, mobile, domestic, and global citizens are choosing to make it their home. And as we all know, COVID started a domestic migration with a lot of people leaving big U.S. cities to find comfort in our great city. They got here and realized they didn't want to leave. A second reason investors are paying attention to Miami is because it's where Manhattan meets Silicon Valley. During the pandemic, Florida took a chance on some controversial decisions to keep the state open. Love it or hate it, it changed Miami, likely for good, as major investment firms and tech companies decided to move here. From billionaire execs and C-suite teams or partial headquarter moves, the best finance and tech businesses have either moved here or opened up shop here in the last couple of years. And very few have changed course. We've got Blackstone, Goldman Sachs, Founders Fund, Citadel, you name it. The best names in venture capital are now here and they've brought their intelligence, wealth, and employees into South Florida. Miami also has been very pro-tech and in recent years has offered a lot of incentives to help tech companies start up here or move here. Pair that with being the gateway to the Americas and it's not surprising that Forbes has ranked Miami as the number two emerging tech hub in the US. The result is both commercial and residential real estate have increased in value substantially. Based on recent data, office rent jumped 11% from $46.58 per square foot in Q1 2022 to $51.70 in Q1 2023. And just the other day, they announced two more high-rise office buildings getting built, where in other cities, the office market is collapsing. It's a miracle. When it comes to residential, condo prices have steadily increased, beating all dollar per square foot and median price records. Number three, low taxes and other savings. Many people who want to move here are very surprised to learn that Florida has no income tax. Let me say that again, Florida has no income tax. Moving to Miami from other high tax states can mean major savings for people with six figure plus salaries. For example, if you're a high earner and you live in New York, and you move to Miami, you could save up to $200,000 a year in taxes and cost of living differences, according to some analyses. Likewise, those migrating from San Francisco and earning about $650,000 a year could save an estimated 
$150,000. Additionally, the Miami-Dade area has relatively low property tax rates, which also have been declining in millage rate over the past few years. So owning property here, even investment property, is not that expensive compared to some other major markets. Number four, rents are at an all-time high. Okay, so now we've got businesses migrating, high earning talent here, and guess what? Rents are at an all-time high. Property owners in Miami have seen at least a 12% increase in rents between July 2022 and 23, and even a bigger jump in rent the previous two years. Plus, about 70% of Miami's housing units are renter occupied. So if you're investing and want to be a landlord, you can be confident that your investment properties will be in high demand. And let's not forget, Miami has always been a tourist hotspot and always will be. So if you want to buy a Miami condo and then Airbnb at your unit, the average daily rate was about $290 as of May 2023. And this daily rate puts Miami in the top 10 most expensive US cities for Airbnb short-term rental listings. If you like the long game and want to hold on to your property for the long term, prices for luxury condos in Miami have gone up by about 35% just over the past four years on a price per square foot basis, going from $699 per square foot at the end of 2018 to $948 per square foot at the end of 2022. And the city continues to grow and become even more and more attractive for people to live and play here. And this is in-house data we've been tracking for almost 10 years now, and we cover in our quarterly luxury condo market reports, which you can take a look at by following the link in the description, or give me a call and I'll send you all the data. By the way, if you're already excited about what you're hearing and want to go check out the current condo listings for sale right now, go to condoblackbook.com or give us a call. Finally, last on our list, and I think this is a really important factor, is our international culture. There's just no city like Miami, period and it's only getting better. While a lot of people come here to enjoy our legendary nightlife, which has been touted as the best in the country, most will end up staying for the wholesome lifestyle. I haven't been to a club in a decade. I have a wife, two kids, and we are loving it. We've got incredible food. No one would be wrong to call Miami one of the best foodie cities in the country. We're now part of the Michelin Guide as well, which ranks only a select few cities. And the culinary landscape here caters to every taste bud and pocket ranging from vegan to gourmet, Italian to Korean, fine dining to sports bar. In case you were wondering, my personal fave cuisines are all Asian fare, Persian, Indian, Vietnamese, and sushi. My Italian friends think that those foods don't exist and only Italian food exists, but anyhow. Plus, you'll find outposts of a variety of world-renowned restaurants such as Mexico-based Zeru, London's Novikov restaurant and bar, and New York's Pastis. And don't forget Nobu, Dirty French, and it goes on and on and on. If you're after incredible shopping, it's a luxury mecca here. Shopping in Miami offers you everything from the international luxury brands to your neighborhood boutique with major shopping destinations like the Miami Design District, Shops at Ball Harbor, Brickell City Center, and more. If you're into art, we're one of the most influential art cities in the world. We are home to Art Basel Miami, along with all the other important art fairs, plus street art in Wynwood, and home to at least a dozen of the world's top art collectors. For sports lovers, we've got world-class tennis, Formula One, Major League Soccer, Major League Baseball, NFL football, and now we've acquired the piece de resistance of the sporting world, the holy grail, Lionel Messi. So my final takeaway, if you're an investor considering buying Miami real estate, is this. In this magic city where the sun shines all year round, Miami's market is bright and is only getting brighter. I don't care if you're a seasoned investor or just dipping your toes in the world of investment, there's a property for every taste and budget in Miami, giving you the freedom to step away from traditional hotspots and still maximize your ROI. If you want more information, data, details, or are planning to come to Miami and want an insider tour, we're a phone call or text away. And we've got a team of multilingual experts here to help you. As always, I'm Seth Neocon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.